Hey folks, what's up? Albert Meitzer here, California Adventures, still in Oxnard. On Oxnard Boulevard, I'm at A Burger. Anyways, I want to thank my buddy, uh, my anonymous buddy who I saw, haven't seen in like 10 or 12 years up here in Oxnard. I was going across the street to clean up a couple little palm trees and, uh, you know, I'm heading towards Home Depot or 99 cent store or both. And then I might cruise down towards the 101 and see all the debris and maybe do some cleanup down there, but it's running a little late. Anyways, he offered to buy me lunch, you guys, and got me a killer burger, a big old burger, some fries, <laughs> and a soda from A Burger right here in Oxnard, and a huge burger. Must have spent 10, 12 bucks, so uh, thanks for hooking me up, bro. This guy's been doing killer for years and years. I know him from uh, recovery. And he works in the justice system and uh, just a good friend. I'll just leave it at that anonymously. But I got my my main tool, my hand saw, and my gloves. And I'm probably going to go get a, right there, go get an extension saw for some other taller palms. And probably a ladder I need out on my property anyways for my little cabin to hang some plywood and get on the roof when I get that going. So I'll probably pick me up an extension ladder at Home Depot, an extension broom pull maybe a new hand saw and that's about it some uh drinks from the 99 cent store macaroni and stuff and maybe head down the 108 one into the san fernando valley and who knows you know that's all theory and maybe head back towards santa monica and you know maybe another recovery meeting tonight we'll see and uh maybe sleep in malibu maybe not it's open i should go see my dad but i haven't seen my dad in a bit love you dad but uh yeah, I'm going to knock out a couple more trees. I think since my trash can's empty, I can tell there's a lot of debris and plastic around these little palm trees right here on Oxnard Boulevard. And I started down towards Point Magoo, and I'm working my way up towards Ventura. And uh, I'm right across from Colonia where uh, Cesar Chavez lived, and he's famous for helping the immigrant, the farm workers of California unionize and get paid more money. And you've seen all them strawberry fields we still got here in Ventura County from the no growth policy or controlled growth, which is awesome. You know, it hasn't turned into like Orange County suburbia yet, which we love Orange County. We love California. So, uh, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm going to eat this meal here, the fries, and download this video. Hey, and uh, the burger, or maybe save some of it for later and get over on those trees. I found out that the plastic, I could pack a lot in there. It looks... I can't believe it, but you could actually get a lot in that trash can. As long as I keep it all clean, I got a couple little holes in the bottom. I got to watch. I got need me a new trash can from Home Depot. I don't know if I'm going to get one now, but I really don't have room in my car. I got to set the trash can outside when I sleep and put the broom and the shovel underneath my car and then move everything from my freaking, uh, you know, my bed area over to, to uh, the driver's side and all that stuff. And uh, that's just how I do, but you know, I can't afford a, a van or a motorhome or anything. A tra I might get a trailer for cleanup. I was thinking about that from Harbor Freight, but I can't afford a van to cruise up and down. You just burn too much fuel. They probably burn twice, at least twice or three times the amount, you know, so it's cool if you're just in one area, you know, it's nice. Definitely got more uh, comforts than I got, you know, and you people at home got more comforts than them, but more people are moving into their vehicle because of money and problems and necessity or just maybe also by choice you know and it's it's a nomad be one way to go if you could be homeless and suffering that's one way but if you turn around you're a nomad survivor and make the best of it i got this mask i got two of them from uh german george from venice and anyways i was he's a big youtuber he's got like forty thousand people to do. he does venice beach and homeless stuff and anyways i was a little crazy with him and just a little aggressive i was but i bought two mass sauce but he i wanted to do an interview with him but i asked him what's your mission statement he just says he loves california but he got upset with me i don't know i guess i was nervous and uh you know meeting some youtube famous guy sort of then i saw another guy but it was like anyways he was pissed he's all you're this and that and yeah he was right i was a little you know acting out and uh you know nervous energy didn't know what to say so i got sort of uh not aggressive but obnoxious you know which i do that's how i make friends if they can handle me being obnoxious i figure they're a real friend but he was trying to sell stuff and make money out of his little store on venice the boardwalk there but he's got a mission statement showing he loves california he's from germany and he loves california and venice and he's got some good stuff and he makes people aware of the problems we got and that's sort of his mission statement you know i think 
is that he loves California and he does he doesn't really throw in his opinion about the homeless problem or stuff. He just he just videos does content to show the viewers. So he's got a big following. And then that's it. Jake's cool homeless Jake with the drones. That's the Uber driver. These are some cool, interesting videos. If you like that stuff on uh, on uh, YouTube, you know, watching the nomads or this or that, you know. So it's interesting. I'm gonna keep busy, folks. I'm gonna hopefully get out of Ventura County tonight, you know, and go to my choice of drug, which is Home Depot. As long as I got money on that credit card, you know, I'll keep spending it, you know, and this and that. But uh. Yeah, I like these little trees that I could get. I can knock them out in about five minutes. They go quick, and, uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could trailer off the palm fronds, but, uh, you know, I can't do that right now. So they'll decompose five years, whatever, you know, put them somewhere where it's not obnoxious. Even covering up trash looks better than the trash. So I'm going to work on those. I'll probably show you those in the video. So get ready to see a lot of palm tree videos. Just prepare your mind. Palm trees and trash, and that's sort of what I'm doing right now, you guys. I used to do it years ago for volunteer and actually made money when I was younger. So I know how to do it to a degree. All right, later. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do this burger. Later.